And the post secondary education before the election that was Lisa Bear, Maple Ridge Pitt Meadows. She got reelected. Um, I think she might stay there. Yeah, I mean, again, uh, she did she did a good job there. But if I'm moving Anne Kang for municipal affairs, I think a good landing spot then for Anne Kang would be post secondary education. Um, I think she has you know got enough experience now as a minister to take on. Um, that post-secondary education portfolio used to be advanced education. Um, so I think Anne Kang um, will will probably slide in there and Lisa Barrow will slide into a different ministry. And that uh, opens up uh, Solicitor General. Next to Solicitor General and uh, Mike Farmer, Solicitor General for many years. I'm thinking that uh, he's going to leave that ministry just because it was a hot potato in Surrey. And Surrey was where the NDP almost uh, lost the election, basically. And uh, I think that there will be a new Solicitor General. I'm leaning towards Terry Young, uh, the former Vancouver Police Department uh, senior officer. Of course, there's questions about Terry Young and his work that he did at the Justice Institute in training officers, police officers from the People's Republic of China. Some questions about that. But uh, he won in Yale Town. It was a tough uh, race against Melissa Dijanova from the Conservatives. And uh, you know, his wife, of course, is Sarah Kirby Young, an ABC councillor with Vancouver City Council. So I'm thinking that David Eby is going to put Terry Young in as Solicitor General. Yeah, and obviously I said earlier on that I think Terry Young would be sort of better suited to emergency management. Uh, I think there is nobody in that caucus better suited to a Solicitor General, Minister of Public Safety than Gary Begg. And the reason I say that is, uh, like Terry Young, Gary's obviously a former police officer. He's a former inspector with the RCMP. The difference is Gary has experience in government. Gary has been the whip for, you know, seven years. And he's actually done a really good job at being the whip. The other thing too is, and, and I agree with you, Bob, that Mike Farmworth will be, will be moved out of there. That whole Surrey, you know, police service, RCMP transition, that was a debacle. And I think the, the minister took it, it sort of personally, as did the mayor. And I think, you know, they need somebody to bridge that gap, right? They need to start building the bridges back with not only the, the mayor and council of Surrey, but the people of Surrey. And I think that's a big part of why they lost a lot of ground in Surrey. And, and I've actually had the opportunity to talk to Gary Begg a number of times about, you know, not just policing, but corrections or public safety or provincial police force or all these different types of things, um, which leads me to think, and, and I think the Premier will see it as well, there is nobody better suited to be Solicitor General of the province than, than Gary Begg, and I think that's where he will land. So next up is social development. Uh, Sheila Malcolmson from Nanaimo, Gabriel Island has been the minister there, and I'm thinking that uh, she will continue to be that minister. Uh, what's your prediction? I'm thinking Lisa Bear. I, I think, uh, you know, social development would be would be a good transition for Lisa from post-secondary education. If I'm if I'm moving Anne Kang over there, then I got to move Lisa somewhere else. So uh, I think social development would be a, a good spot for Lisa Bear. Um, and I think that's where she'll land. And tourism, Lana Popham, tourism, sports, culture. Lana Popham has been the minister there the veteran Saanich South MLA. I'm thinking because the Invictus Games are coming up in the new year, and then in 2026, the FIFA World Cup is coming to BC Play Stadium, that they'll want to have some continuity there, that Lana Popham will stay as uh, the tourism minister. Well, I strongly think that uh, the Premier will move Lana over back over to agriculture. And who I'm thinking for tourism is Spencer Chandra Herbert. Uh, you know, Spencer has been, uh, you know, an elected member for many years. Uh, he's done multiple, multiple terms. Uh, most recently, he served as deputy speaker. Um, I do know uh, that Spencer would ultimately like to become speaker, uh, but I think he's got uh, some more terms left in him. Uh, and I think, you know, it's time for Spencer to to have a seat at the table. And I think he would be he would be very successful. I think he'd be very good. Um, in a portfolio like tourism, I think that's where he'll land. And transportation, that's open because of the retirement of Rob Fleming. That's a big ticket, a big controversy portfolio, a lot of moving parts. Uh, 
pardon the pun, but transportation is such a big role in British Columbia, especially after the promises that David Eby made about uh, expanding the highways into the Fraser Valley. You've got a lot of projects, transportation projects, bridges, uh, highways, uh, SkyTrain that are late, over budget. It's a hot potato ministry. And someone like Mike Farnworth would be someone who could take charge there. Um, I think that... Uh, transportation would be handed over to Mike Farnworth. Well, it seems I think Mike is going <clears> to, <throat> excuse me, land in finance. I'm thinking Jennifer Whiteside. Uh, you know, she's had a seat at the table as Minister of Mental Health and Addictions. Um, I think it's, it. I think she's ready and I think she is uh, well positioned to sort of take over that that portfolio of transportation from, from Rob Fleming. Uh, like you said, there's a lot of issues there's a lot of big projects coming and you're going to need a you know a, a, a sound minister to be able to navigate it but also to be able to communicate what's going on with the various projects uh, etc and i think jennifer whiteside is that person i think she's going to land in transportation now nathan cullen spent just one term in provincial politics after uh, coming back from ottawa and he was defeated in the election. He was the Minister of Water, Land and Resource Stewardship. That's uh, some people called it Walrus for short. It's the for, it's the ministry formerly known as uh, Land and Water uh, Resource Stewardship uh, Land Wars. It's it's had some different names over the years, different uh, uh, business cards, and you'll have a new minister there. And I'm thinking that new minister would be Randy Neal. That's where I think Randy Neal, the former broadcaster who won on the Sunshine Coast will go. Uh, who do you think will go there? I'm thinking George Anderson. Uh, I think I think George Anderson is a little bit better positioned to take that over. Again, there's there's lots going on in that ministry and there and there and there always is. Um, you know, we we didn't really hear from from Nathan Collin all that much uh in the grand scheme of things when he was minister, but I think that ministry is going to start sort of uh, for lack of a better term heating up in 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 sort of the coming year or years. And you know, George Anderson is a lawyer. I I think he's he's incredibly well spoken, um, and I think that's a ministry that he could really sink his teeth into. Uh, I think George Anderson lands there. Okay, and then uh, that's it for the ministry. There is a very important uh, other position that is necessary for the operations of the legislature, operations of the Parliament buildings, and that being the speaker. And Raj Chohan was the speaker who succeeded Daryl Pluckus after the 2020 uh, election. And who do you think will be the speaker going forward uh, as we go forward into the, the next session of the legislature, the, the 43rd Parliament of British Columbia? Well, I know that the Premier was hoping he could, uh, you know, snag a Conservative to to fill the Speaker's chair. I, I don't think that's going to happen. I just, any of the sort of the front runners in my mind uh, have already categorically said, no, not going to do it, go away, don't ask me again. Um, I think probably Raj Shohan stays. Um, you know, he's he's been the Speaker, you know, since Daryl Pleck has vacated. Uh, he's, he's done a reasonable job. He's... You know he's fine as speaker, um, and 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 the issue being, you know, I know that Mike Farmworth wouldn't be opposed to it. I know Spencer would would definitely like it, but you always have to look at well, where are the people best suited? And I know Raj has made it very clear he would like to be speaker again. Um, I think it's I think it's 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 a comfortable fit, uh, and I think the premier just says, okay, Raj, you're going to continue as speaker. I I think Raj Shohan continues. There we go. There we've got our predictions for the uh, the next version of Cabinet, British Columbia's Cabinet under Premier David Eby. It'll be announced, uh, and the swearing-in will be November 18th, 